yes, and in some senses, no. So we haven't really reached out to a whole lot of the institutional repositories. We've aggregated um, a lot of the big uh, open databases. So for example, um, and actually big and small databases. Um, so something like ModelDB is not really an institutional repository. It's a, um, it's a database that has a particular kind of data. Geo has another kind of data, right? So these are two um, repositories that are put into SciCrunch. Um, but what they store typically is one data type. And um, we find that the institutional repositories that we've looked at, and you know, I, I may not be seeing a representative uh, set of those, but um, typically they will have sort of random data. So something like Figshare or Dryad is one of these kind of generic repositories. There is less that you can do with Figshare or Dryad data than you can do with PDB data, for example. Because when you look at a repository like ModelDB or PDB, PDB, you know you're going to be looking at X-ray crystallogra uh, crystallography. You know you're going to be looking at a certain kind of thing. Um, but when you're looking at Dryad, it could be ice core samples, or it could be you know temperature measurements somewhere in a mouse, <laughs> who knows, right? So, um, but one of the things that we find is if you put a lot of the data into what's called a community repository, it becomes better, it becomes richer, and it becomes something that's actually of value to a particular community. So I keep using Model D Model DB as an example, but it has now thousands of models. And these are uh, neuronal models in different um, platforms um, like Neuron Genesis, MATLAB, or others. And if one wanted to find out all the code for all of the neuronal models that um, you know cover an, an, er an area of the brain, like let's say hippocampus, they would actually be able to search that. Um, another uh, repository is um, something like uh, neuromorpho.org. Neuromorpho.org simply has traces of neurons and that is exportable into models um, but again it doesn't become interesting to search as a data set until there's a whole lot of these things in there and so neuromorpho and all of these other uh, data data repositories community data repositories have been growing very significantly over the last few years as people deposit more and more data out into public repositories which is wonderful